Welcome back to the Best Start Guide. It is day 53, and you know what we haven't tried? We haven't tried Live Arena yet, which is something that you get access to at level 50. And we can't get the Zephyr Sniper, we're full. Um, we need... I need to level some stuff. Um... I hope I don't need this guy. Because I want that Zephyr Sniper. I am collecting these. Because I, I want to build an all-spirit team for the arena. Uh, just for the quest that comes up. I can make an all-barbarian, all-spirit team. As long as I have a good Zephyr Sniper. But anyway. What I wanted to try today. Because Live Arena is open. We have never tried Live Arena before on this account. I've done a lot of Live Arena on my main account. I haven't done... I haven't recorded an episode of Live Arena in a long time. But I think this could be a fun thing to do. Actually, we're very close to being able to build a... Uh, a fourth... six-star unit. Which is the next mission that we've got. But I, I'm just going to dive right in. Let's see what happens. So this is going to be a hybrid live arena slash best start guide. I'm going to see if we can start in live arena. Well, I have no idea. So I'm going to start with Sun Wukong is who I usually started with on my main account. Um, but I'm expecting a lot of people to have Kale, so I don't know. Maybe I want to start with Kale. Just to make sure I get him. Because I'm expecting a bunch of other 50s, they're probably going to be coming in with the same problem. I know nothing about the meta at this level. I would have started here... <coughs> Pardon me. Alright, so they have a Rathalos. So I'll bring in my Sun Wukong. I will bring in my Xeno Gray Blade Master. She is really not a live arena champion. But I think she'll be fine. She's our, she, she, she's the only other 60, so may as well bring her. I think we probably have this first fight, because if his second choice was a level 50... I think he probably only has one level 60, and it's Rathalos. Or he might have two, and the other one was a Kale. Come to think of it, I'm thinking like a gold player. Duh. Uh, in gold, you can block other people's picks, but in, in bronze, which I presume where we are, you can't actually block anybody's picks. You just kind of have whatever you have. So we're going to go with this. Also, the lightning effect is kind of neat. I don't know if that's new or if I just wasn't using my sound before. So they are using Kale after all, and, 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 and silly me, I thought I could block that, but apparently I actually can't. Um, for... I probably should have brought my speed lead, come to think of it. Uh, why don't we block her? Because she is kind of a scary nuker. They block Sun Wukong. That makes sense. I'll take the Health Aura. Right. So let's see. How do we make the best of this situation? I'm going to go after Rathalos. And again.
Well, good game, Conqueror. So that was our first fight. So what have I learned? I should probably be bringing a similar team to what we bring to Classic Arena, because we don't have a lot of choices in champions. And my Kale is not fast. My Sun Wukong is also not fast. So they got Shemnath. So these are these are level 50s that I'm fighting, really? Okay. Well, I'm going to bring Sun Wukong and Diabolist. I realize at this stage I don't have to be strategic with who I pick. Wow, that is a frightening looking combo. Um, I'll bring Kale. I think I want to bring another speed lead so that I can be sure to be fast enough. Can't do anything if we're dead. I get the feeling we're going to be fighting Sun Wukong an awful lot. So maybe a, a good kind of champion to invest in would be somebody that blocks revive. Um, for now, let's see. I could try Xeno Gray again. She can really only take out champions one at a time. But it's better than nothing. Again, we we got to work with the 360s that we've got. So next on the docket for 60s, probably going to be one of the revivers. Not sure which one. You're blocking Xeno Gray, really? That's interesting. So I'll lead with Sun Wukong, getting a lot of extra speed. We should have the opportunity to at least get the drop on them. I don't know if we're going to be strong enough to knock them out. We do this, we do this. We are actually much faster than them. This is a good sign. And I'm going to start with you. Well, that's not a good sign. Lots of, uh, lots of relentless procs. Oh, lost again. So let's try another one. See if we can win any fights today. I'm sure we can. I mean, we're, we're fighting a bunch of level 50-somethings. They really shouldn't be that much more advanced than our account, unless they open their wallets, which is, which is likely enough. That is a that is a fair enough thing that could happen. Uh, I'll open with I'll open with her. The thing is, being outside of gold, it's it's kind of an odd feeling because it doesn't really matter what order I pick my champions in. I like the idea of having an increased attack. So I'm going to bring him. It's kind of sad that I'm bringing fours. I got to I got to get these poor saps up to five at least. Um, aside from that, I could also bring. I feel like I should bring at least three nukers. So we'll bring Kale, and I'll bring Sun Wukong and Xeno Gray. So we got a team of orcs. I like this. An all orc team. So they got Vrask for the heals. 
They got Torture Helm, who can automatically revive himself. They've got Galek, who might be their only nuker, but Torture Helm can probably also hit really hard. Um, Tuhawk? Is that is that this guy's name? Is that what he does? I'm just not sure. Not sure who to... I'm going to eliminate Galek on a whim. So let's start with the best speed aura we have, which is 23%. That's another good reason to be bringing him, come to think of it, because it's the only other speed aura that applies to Arena. So this way, we almost certainly have the drop on whoever we fight, because I have 265 speed in her. So, I mean, wow, look at their turn meters. They are super low. We might even lap them. Um, so I want increased attack. Then probably go for the increased speed while attacking, say, Tuhawk? And Torture Helm didn't revive. Why didn't he revive? Or did he do it the first time? Did I did I miss that? Did he already get his automatic revive? I guess that must be what happened. Otherwise, I know Torture Helm at least gets one chance to get right back up. But I, I thought I saw him survive the first hit. I guess I was wrong. Anyway, that that, that was our first win. Fun fun stuff. It only it only took us three fights. Or has it been four? And all the excitement I lost count. So now that we're in nine oh five, we're gonna be we're gonna be fighting a completely different uh completely different bunch of people. So I'm gonna start with Sun Wukong and the speed lead. I love the little, the little thunder effects. It's it's kind of a nice touch. I don't know why I didn't notice this the first time while playing. Again, it would, is this a, is this a new thing that Plarium added, or is this always there? And I just was playing with the with the sound kind of turned all the way down. Um, so I'm gonna bring Kale. I'm gonna bring Xeno Gray. And. I guess we'll bring Apothecary again. Could also bring Tagor. But I think we're probably best up with Apothecary because this way, if they eliminate uh, Diabolist, I could always go to Apothecary like on this team, I think Apothecary is probably their speed lead. Uh, I don't really know who I want to eliminate here. I'm going to guess I want to eliminate Kale. But I might actually want to eliminate... You know what? I'm going to eliminate Apothecary. Let's see if we can just outspeed them. So I'll take... Oh, and you know what? I'm a dumb dumb. I didn't bring... Um... I didn't bring Gorgorab. I think Gorgrab was the other one I brought last time. I should be bringing Gorgrab instead of Apothecary. My bad. Anyway, we do the positive charge. We can uh, increase our turn meters this way. Let's get rid of him if possible. This way. No, well, that's not quite enough. All right, well, let's see what you can do, Kale. Not enough to take down the enemy, Kale. Youch. Oh, that's right. Xeno Gray actually gets a chance to get back up if she's hit with a fatal blow. 
So there is still a chance that we could win, but I think we have to proc an extra turn. Oh, that's assuming Kale doesn't kill us right now. So never, never mind. But we do get one more chance. One more shot at redemption. So I'm going to try to pick the right five champions this time. Which will be, of course, Sun Wukong, Xeno Gray, Kale, Diabolist, and Gorgorab. So we'll bring Gorgorab and Sun Wukong, and we'll save the nukers for last. So they got an ally attack coming this time. I think it would probably be smart to get rid of Kale. He's probably designed to be the nuker. And we'll lead with Gorgorag. Gorg Gor the Gorgmeister. Gorgi the Gorgster. Gorgenheimer. So here we go. Increase attack. Who else am I really worried about? I guess I'm most worried, worried about Rathalos. So if I can at least get a decrease attack going on him. Hmm, okay. So I'll get increased speed going while simultaneously... Who do I really want to get rid of? Let's get rid of Deke. Cool, I didn't expect to get rid of two at once. And take it home, Kale. Woof! That was a harrowing one. Good game, Elder. I'm having fun. Let's keep going. Let's, uh... Let's use this right now. I don't know if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna do Live Arena that much on this account. Because it, it is... It is going to get bland pretty pretty quickly. There aren't that many champions to choose from. Of course, I feel like that can kind of be the case on my endgame account, too. I mean, really, on my endgame account, I am frequently still picking... I'm actually... Next time I start on my endgame account, maybe I'll do a session later today, maybe I'll do one tomorrow. I'd like to get back into doing live arena sessions on my, on my main account. Um... I have stopped opening with Sun Wukong and I've started just letting my opponent take Sun Wukong because I have a response to him now. A response I'm actually pretty fond of. But let's go with uh let's go with let's go with these two. I'm pretty sure they're the live arena champs that I want. So maybe my next six star should actually be Gorgorab. If I'm going to lean this hard into Gorgorab. I, I don't know. Because maybe it should be somebody that I bring against uh, the Demon Lord. Don't have to make that decision today, although we're very close to being able to make that decision. Uh, yeah, we want Kale. So, Jose may not even have any level 60s. And if that's the case... I don't know if he has any chance at all. He may surprise us. So let's block... Who's going to be the biggest problem on this team? I mean, I figure damage is probably going to be coming from Kale. 
So we could just block the kale. I'm pretty comfortable with this idea. And we'll lead with Gorgorab. We'll see if I get some kind of a speed bonus against him. We appear to be way faster. If you look at the the turn the turn meter fill is a little bit more on him, but they're not even halfway there yet. So I'm gonna bring my increase attack. Who do I wanna open with? Who is the most worrying? I don't know that I even need to worry about y you know what? I wanna open with my increased speed. So I will target him first. Oh, he's no fun. He fell right over. All right, I'm just gonna go full auto. I, I, I just I don't expect. Um, I'm even blanking on this guy's name. I, I, I you know, what was he? The, the Zarquid? The Mind Flayer? He's basically the Mind Flayer. Achak the Wendron. That's his name. So we got we got four fights left. Let's do them. Then I'm gonna head to the tavern, and I'm gonna have a look at the uh, the situation with food. I know we're close. I think I have enough chickens. Uh, I think I have three five star chickens, and then I have something like twelve four star chickens at this point. Um, we'll lead with Diabolist. We're dealing with Kit Death. This name looks familiar, which it shouldn't. Because I'm new here. So, you too have a Gorgorab. Excellent. This also has me thinking, should, should I be building Rathalos? But really, I don't think Rathalos is an arena champion. I think, if anything, he's a, he's a clan boss champion, and even against clan boss, it just kind of didn't get to him. Um, I'm going to bring Sun Wukong, 100%. You already know who the last two are going to be. I could try bringing some of my support revivers, but I'm just thinking I'm, I'm not going to revive them to death. There's also sh uh, Shield Guard. If he were six-starred, maybe I'd bring him. Alas, he's not. So, no, I will not. So, this is an interesting group of champions. I'm expecting Kale or Elhane or Galek or, you know, the other girl to be here. Are we going to see Athel? Are we going to see Elhane? Is this another Kale player? Really, I'd say in 95 to, to maybe 99% of new games, the first 60 that you should build is your starter. So I'm going to get rid of Rathalos. He worries me the most. Sun Wukong, no surprise. I wonder if anybody's not going to ban Sun Wukong. He is a pretty terrifying champion, although I don't know if, if mine is particularly terrifying. I guess we'll never know if they keep banning him. And if they keep banning him, then then I guess he's effective because it means I don't have to worry them banning anybody else. So we get the attack up. And my sinking suspicion... Well, let's see. I'm, I'm going to go after Gorgorab first. I figure if we take out Gorgi first, we don't have to worry. I don't know. Who is likely to be the nuker? Maybe this guy? Full auto. Good game, Kit Death. So we got three more.
So I feel like we're getting into more of a rhythm, but maybe it's all luck. I mean, maybe we just got really bad luck with the first few opponents. I feel like they were the most ferocious, strangely. Encountering somebody who had like three level 60 semi-meta champions right at the uh, right at level 50 seems unlikely. And yet it happened twice in a row. So he gonna pick Alador? Oh, interesting. I r really like Kyoku. She's an extremely good champion. I'm probably going to ban her. Come to think of it, she can she can cause us a lot of problems. But we'll open with Sun Wukong and Kale. I can open with the reverse order of champions today because again, it doesn't matter. It's, it's I love the freedom of this. Doesn't even matter. Wow, he's got Brogni. Brogni's got those big shields. And of course we do have to worry about Rhonda. In fact, I might I might just want to eliminate Rhonda. I think she's the most worrying champion. So this is interesting. This account's only level 54, but they've already got a um, a Shill of the Drakes. Mind you, you can randomly pull Shill of the Drakes. So I guess we're going with Gorgorab as the lead. Xenogray is our fastest champion, so I can try to come in and attack the biggest threat before Kyoku has a chance to get her, uh, her reaction going. So I guess the biggest threat is Rathalos. I'm guessing it is. So I can at least try to get decrease attack up on Rathalos. Nope, we got too many weak hits. Um, let's keep going though. So, there is the increased defense. It's going to make the rest of them harder to kill. And of course, you know what? I'm a dum-dum. I should totally have been aiming for Shill of the Drakes first, because she could just get Rathalos right back up. So, that's, uh, that's my bad. But we can continue to pick on Rathalos. It's not going well, though. I think we're about to die. I think this team has too much uh, protection and healing on it for me to even get through it. It's a pretty smart team. I, I gotta hand it to you, Alador. So, good game. I mean, maybe I should even have just banned Shill of the Drakes in that last fight. Because she does pose a lot of problems. She's got a, a little bit of everything. She's got a little bit of increased speed. She's got the crowd control. She's got a little bit of healing every time she gets a turn. Um, here, let's show this.
So it looks like we got some variation of NOX. I think that's what I'm gathering from the name. Um, so we'll bring Kale. I will bring Sun Wukong. This is another account that looks like it, it probably was started a while ago because it's got Deliana, it's got Rhonda, and aside from that, kind of looks like a starter account. This might be another account that somebody sat on for a while and then sold to somebody. I don't know exactly how that economy works. So I'm guessing here. So I think... I think I want to get rid of her first. I think she's going to be too tough otherwise. Oh, we're losing Xeno Gray. Okay. So let's lead with Sun Wukong. So we get the speed drop on them. And... Boom! Knockout. Good game, Nox. One fight left. Totally should have eliminated Sun Wukong. This is why. Not even going to try to pronounce that. Unless these are supposed to be bees, and then I could go Babako. Babako. All right, so we're 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 going to open with these two. Speaking of the chickens, this is actually a chicken at this point. I was thinking of building this guy for clan boss. But at this point, I don't think that's ever going to happen. And last but not least, Sun Wukong. And even, looking at the enemy team, I'm thinking Sun Wukong is probably who we have to eliminate. And then we probably have to single out her. So we'll open with Sun Wukong. I guess the theory here is um, Babako wants to eliminate my Reviver. But, I mean, look at him. He's a four-star. He was going to be the first one to die anyway. So let's get rid of... Actually, it's open this way. If I can get a decrease attack going on him. Oh, knocking him out is even better. So, here we go. I think we pretty much got it. I don't think Kale's gonna die, and I really don't think Xenogray's gonna die. So, good game, Babako. Anyway, that's, um, that's it. I'll take the coins now. I'm going to I'm going to leave the uh we can take the XP as well. But I'll take I'll take the energy when we really need it. Cuz you know I don't like overfilling the energy bar. And plus it's a it's an energy tank. So if we wait another 10 levels or just whenever we really really need the energy, we'd probably get even more energy out of it. 
Because I, I have received comments in the past of, of people going, why do you have so many energy tanks there? It annoys me that the, the energy tanks are just there. Yeah, I know. I'll leave them there because they're valuable. It's good to hold on to these for when you really need them. Who knows? For example, maybe a tournament comes up. There, there is a tournament, in fact, right now, a champion training tournament, where theoretically I could be in the running for uh, Nurgigibidde Archer, although I doubt it. They're already up to here, and quite frankly, you all, you at least need to reach twelve thousand five hundred. I don't I don't know if we have that in us at this point. It would be nice to place high in the rankings, though, so that we can get some more decent uh, Relentless gear. But we'll see. I said we'd head to the tavern, right? So, in the tavern, if we look at, say, Jamarsa, we got three chickens so far. We just need... A couple more fours to make into fives. I think we maybe have enough. I could take... Who did I want to take up? Because in fact, I, I do like the idea of... Gorgrab isn't even max level, is he? No, he's not. But I like the idea of getting Gorgrab up there as well. So that's a difficult decision. Maybe I should spend a little more time thinking about it before uh, before I really commit to anything. So aside from that, is there anything else new that I wanted to do today? I, I guess there is one other thing, and it is this. In Doom Tower, I hit a wall with Scarab King. I don't have anybody built specifically to beat Scarab King, so basically we got to him and I just couldn't get through him. I could try to rebuild Xeno Gray to be a little more Scarab King oriented, or another champion. But I don't have a ring for Xeno Gray or or any kind of um, any kind of blood shield accessory. I wish there were a way to isolate Blood Shield accessories. Like that would be useful. But if I look at equipped stuff and I scroll all the way through, I can kind of I can kind of try to see who's got it. So I don't have any in the shadow kin. Close it this way. I do have one in Barbarians. So Shield Guard, for example, could be built to handle Scarab King. That's an idea. So we could put a pin in that. Um, I really wish we had something in Sacred Order, but we don't. So I can't use Armager. I can't use Dwarves, Orcs, Undead Hordes, Demon Spawn. Not Sylvans, not Night Revenant. Kale is another option, potentially, or I could look at maybe a different Dark Elf, but really aside from Kale, I don't know who that would be. If I had Cold Heart, it'd be her. But I don't. And Kale's already got it, so I can I can try to lean into that. Basically, if we arrive with nobody who isn't protected by a Blood Shield accessory, so that means we'd be bringing Kale, we'd be bringing probably Jamarsa. No, I've also... I also want to use shield guard. So I could I could try to do a two man thing. But somebody's got to be in destroy gear instead of life steal and that gets awkward. So maybe I'd even bring Jamarsa with Kale. I still don't know who'd be doing the damage there. Uh Sun Wukong is another one who'd be really really good. If only he had it. Um ogres. I can look at the ogres then. And that's pretty much it. So I mean, these are the, these are the factions where I have a blood shield accessory. I have exactly three. And from ogres, I don't I don't know what we got. So if we go here and we just 
open up all of this and we say faction it's gonna be dark elves barbarians ogres and no one else I'm not really seeing anybody particularly nuki um, the scarab king is spirit affinity on this um, on this rotation so probably if I was to try to solo with anybody I guess it really would have to be Kale I guess he's the best bet we could try to two man or maybe even three man if I can find a decent ogre for support I really don't have a lot of ogres I mean I got wagon bane I mean, this is kind of a silly idea, really. I, I really don't like Wagon Bane. He's got, like, a little bit of healing. It's going to be rough. I guess the long and the short of it is it's it's going to be rough setting up anybody that can actually manage to do the Blood Shield accessory thing. The other idea is, of course, instead of going with factions, is figuring out who can shield the party the whole time. And I could try to manual through it with shields. The, the, the problem is he's constantly stripping buffs off the party. But let's see. The shields are... somewhere. Why am I blanking on which one is the shield? It's this one, right? the shield looks like the shield um, so for shielding we got Tagor who puts up shields on revive that's not going to be the most reliable shielding we got Pharsalus and he's got shields on all allies three turn cooldown for two turns I could probably work with this Okay, I think I think I have a, uh, a way forward. So Farsalus, he'd have to be booked though, and he's an epic. Do I want to spend the epic books on that? I kind of don't. What about Marauder? How do his shields work? So he places it just on himself. Very selfish, Marauder. I expected more of you. And uh, he only puts the shield on revived champions. It's going to be tough. I really wish I had a metal shaper. Metal shaper would be good. He puts a shield on all allies. For two turns on a four-turn cooldown, that's pretty awkward. I mean, I could I could try to get that working in conjunction with maybe a Valerie or two. I do have two Valeries. Very awkward. So at this point, at this point, I'm gonna say, you know what, it's a bust. I'm probably not gonna bother making that a priority. I'm probably just gonna stick to um, doing campaign farming doing dungeon farming and in fact yesterday I said I was going to I was going to end off the day doing campaign farming and I did I emptied the uh, the energy tank in campaign farming more food but then I started farming fire knight um, and let me show off the fire knight team we'll do ru one run of fire knight and then we'll take a look at the gear that we got because I'd like to take the gear from Fire Knight and put it on another nuke champion. I think I was thinking Dark Elhane. She doesn't have her gear yet. Maybe I did put gear on Dark Elhane, but if I could get some... If I could get some... Um... Savage gear on Dark Elhane. 
maybe even on Kale at this point. He, Kale might not le need lifesteal that much anymore. I may take the lifesteal gear that's currently on Kale, transfer that to maybe uh, Frozen Banshee, so that Frozen Banshee has the ability to stay alive against the clan boss for a long time, and Kale could be more damage focused. I'd probably even redo Kale's Masteries. I'm even tempted to go for Frozen Banshee next, because she'd be easy enough to book. Because with Frozen Banshee, I can use rare books, get her fully booked up, get her fighting the clan boss. She could be fighting the clan boss concurrent with Kale for the time being. It would probably up the clan boss damage. Come to think of it, we should fight the clan boss too. But anyway, this is this is about as far as I can go reliably against the Fire Knight. So I'm fighting Fire Knight... Uh, what, 14? Is that what I took? Or is it Fire Knight 12? I think it's Fire Knight 12. No, I think it's Fire Knight 14. And I think this is reasonably reliable, because I've been leaving it farming with the command to immediately stop farming if the team ever dies. So the team has never died. So if it dies right now, that's going to be very embarrassing. But I think this team should be absolutely fine. It may just take a little longer than I thought. Because the, the, the thing is, that I'm not building the fastest teams yet. I'm just building teams that can reliably get through the Fire Knight. We got pretty lucky by pulling Neldor. I feel like we've been a little unlucky in this game in that it's, it's what, day 53? And we have never pulled a random legendary. So there's still only three legendaries on the whole account. One that we were given completely for free, Rathalos. One that we got from a free login, um, or a free... Rathalos was the login, sorry. Uh, one that we got from a promo code. And then Xeno Grey, that we had to work extra hard for, because she was that first fusion. So anyway, it's about a three minute run right now on Fire Knight 14. I'd love to push it to 16 just because you sometimes you get random brews or random shards. Um, and it, when it's ancient shards, it's fine. But when it's random mystery shards, I don't like it as much. If we push to level 16, then you only get the random mystery shard and nothing else. Outside of that, it's just gear. So we can look at the gear quickly. Uh, did I? Yeah. So here she is. I put her in Cruel. So, so far, she's not going to be impressive. I mean, she hasn't been leveled at all yet. So, if I get her to six stars, this attack stat would probably jump to something like 3,000. And she can have her passive kick in and put off a massive, put out a massive nuke. Um... Anytime a freeze hits the party. Uh, should we look at the gear? We should look at the gear. This is what we should do. So we do have new gear. Maybe I'll... Um, maybe I'll highlight her. Just because she's the one I'm thinking of giving the new Savage gear to. I just didn't have enough Savage gear when last I looked. But now, we should have plenty. Yeah, we got lots. So let's see. We got... Flat attack on the boots is the best thing we've got, which is a little bit lame. Um, accuracy, maybe that'll be useful. Defense percent, this is actually very good. And it's six stars. So this is a great piece. That's actually like not even, this is this is like a mid-game piece. This is maybe even an end-game piece. This is awesome. It's too bad I don't have much of a set to go with it. We got some crit rate on those. We got some crit rate on one helmet, anyway. We got crit rate on one weapon. So I think there's a set in here somewhere. I'd probably start by uh, by rolling this up to eight. And basically anything that's got crit rate on it, I'd roll that up. Like this has crit rate on it. 
because really you want to get the crit rate as high as possible on everything else and then you want to try on all the crit rate pieces and see what the situation is on crit rate totally so if you don't have enough to get you much beyond say um, about 50% then you're looking at crit rate gauntlets to complete the circuit but if you can get yourself to somewhere like 75 to 90 percent, you could probably get away with just crit damage gauntlets. Anyway, lots of stuff to roll up. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna roll all of it. Maybe I'll see how the really good piece rolls. Crit damage, not bad. I'd still prefer a little bit of crit rate, but that's not what we're getting. So last but not least, let's just do a clan boss run, and then I'm going to call it a day. So that's the wrong section, Gavin. Clan boss. So from Brutal yesterday, what did we get? Four star boots. At least it's HP on Immortal. That's actually a little bit useful sometimes. So... I'm not going to switch out anybody yet. I would like to get Frozen Banshee in here at some point. We have to prioritize building her. It takes so long to build a six star in this game. It seriously, Plarium takes too long for early players to build six stars. There needs to be a better way to get there faster. To say nothing of the masteries. And, and of course, I do recognize that you can just spend 800 gems to instantly get the masteries, but 800 gems is a lot, Plarium. So it's kind of... I mean, this game is rough on our time. So it is hard to run even, even two accounts. And this is the thing, this is this is why I want to spend less time playing this account. And less time playing my main account, quite frankly. They're they're just better things to do in life than than just sit here grinding away. This game is such a grind fest, it is not fun. There are fun things about the game, like Live Arena. A plus Plarium. A plus on Live Arena. No notes. It's it's seriously great. The rest of the game kinda sucks. I'm, I'm glad they at least got Live Arena going. That's maybe the one thing even keeping me here, is, is Live Arena being what it is. And even then, having... having complete Krakens show up in Live Arena to completely shut me out, that's definitely not fun. But I do recognize that that's part of the way you make your money. So that's... that's at least not surprising. But what is surprising is that four years in, or five years in, or however long it's been since this game opened, I've been here for four years. Four years of my life. Not an entire four years yet, I suppose. In four years, on my main account, I think I've built something like 180 six-star units. I think I estimate that if I'm if I'm really a voracious, avid player, I can build about one six star a week on my end game account. But on an early game account, it takes a lot longer. There are a lot of things that we have to do. I finally reached a point on this account where I can farm uh, Minotaur and be acquiring scrolls for just one unit. Because basically I'm bringing, I think I'm bringing at this point, Xeno Gray, Sun Wukong, Kale, and Jamarsa as the support, and they all have all of their scrolls. So basically whoever the fifth champion is, that champion is now at least getting all of the scrolls. I mean, the first thing I would do with with Minotaur, honestly, crank Minotaur up to 20. Get a stage 20 of Minotaur that drops a lot more scrolls, and I'd also want to see scrolls dropping for everyone. 
rather than just one lot of scrolls for one, make it a lot of scroll for each champion. You know, while I'm making demands. So anyway, I, I completely forget what the uh, what the cutoff point is for getting that second chest, but that's the thing I really want. Although if I can consistently get something like 10 million or 11 million, then this is an easy 2k. I should have been paying more attention. When I review the footage, I'm going to pay more attention to how full the debuff bar gets. Because if it's not getting particularly full, it's probably going to be no problem just having Frozen Banshee come in with lifesteal and be putting on tons of poisons just to, just to rack up more damage. That's probably how I'll do it. So, about ten and a half million. That's what we got. So that's all I got for you today. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.